Did you know about the Banana Massacre of 1928? This repressive moment in history occurred after Colombian fruit workers refused to toll away for the American fruit industry until brutal working conditions were improved. However, the corrupt sway American influence had on Colombian politics prompted then-conservative President Miguel Mendez to crack down on protesters who were wrongfully characterized as being subversive communists with violent tendencies, thus forcing the Colombian army to push workers back into factories at the behest of corrupt American fruit lobbyists. But workers refused to return to the production line until their simple demands were met. However, once intimidation tactics failed, hostilities broke out between the military and protesters, ending in over 2,000 demonstrators and innocent civilians being massacred, many of which were women and children. But this story does not end there. Years later, it was reported that the American and European-owned banana corporation named Chiquita is still influencing Colombian politics to fit their needs in the South American nation. It has been reported that Chiquita is paying off militia groups to intimidate and instill fear into the hearts and minds of any Colombian worker who dare disrupt American profits in the area. All this corruption, destabilization, greed, and violence, and for what? All because the exploited Colombian workers wanted the most basic of human rights. This is yet another example of how the United States goes into a country to destabilize and siphon funds from a nation. Be assured that this was not the first nor the last time American corporations will continue to exploit Latin America.